Good evening and welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. A lot to talk about today on the Falcons head coaching search. Rob Gronkowski talks about Bill Belichick and having full control of the team. Adam Schefter has a new take on Belichick that he might not be the favorite. That's what we're going to start off with today. We're going to break down the NFC and AFC championship rounds and talk about Jim Harbaugh inking a deal with the Los Angeles Chargers. But as I said, we are starting off with Adam Schefter, and he was on Get Up This Morning on ESPN, and he said that he doesn't necessarily believe that Bill Belichick is the favorite to land the Atlanta Falcons head coaching job, and his reasoning was rather simple and makes a lot of sense on the surface. It's that Belichick interviewed twice very early on. They've satisfied the Rooney rule. If they were really dead set on Bill Belichick, why wouldn't they just hire him? Why would they keep expanding the search? Why would they keep... Uh, uh, Second interviewing with guys, stuff like that. So it makes sense on the surface. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, uh, yeah that's what it is. It feels very surface level. It feels like, you know, I, I'm a big tinfoil hat guy with this whole Falcon search. Uh, that Blank is doing it to appease um, the, the, the public and Rich McKay. You know, something along the lines of a conversation of, hey, Arthur, you know, just hear everybody out, go through the entire process. And if you still want blank or uh, Belichick, I'm sorry, then we'll hire Belichick. But I, I, I firmly believe that blank's mind is still on Belichick. It was from the start. We talked about it ad nauseum that I don't think any of these candidates have as much sway other than Jim Harbaugh, who we're going to talk about later in the show is currently off the board. So I do think that it's Belichick or bust for blank, unless a candidate comes in and completely blows him away. I think it's just, this is all surface level uh, to appease the media, appease the public, Falcons fans, and honestly appease uh, the internal Falcons organization, mainly Rich McKay. I truly believe that. Ten, big tinfoil hat stuff, but like when we end up on Belichick, I think I'm going to be proven right. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll both be proven right because I haven't strayed away from the path, and I'm not going to do it yet. I'm not going to do it quite yet because – Adam Schefter, very well respected, probably the biggest insider in the entire sport outside of maybe Ian Rappaport, but it's him and Ian Rappaport. They are the biggest and the best. But this is not a report. This is a straight up just a feeling based on, hey, we haven't interviewed him in a week. Maybe this is losing momentum, which is basically what everyone else has been saying. And, and to me, uh, whether it was Kendall or Rothstein or, or Adam Schefter saying this, I don't know if there's actually momentum loss until someone comes out and says, hey, the Falcons really aren't considering Bill Belichick. They had a bad second interview. They want to keep Rich McKay. All of this stuff is legitimate because to me, it all still comes down to the same question that it's come down the entire time. Will Arthur Blank move on from his good friend and his weasel buddy, Rich McKay, in favor of Bill Belichick? And if he's willing to do that, and if Bill Belichick is this guy and he's willing to move off of him, he's going to be the next head coach in Atlanta. I, do, I still believe that to this day, and I don't think it's going to change Based on what, unless and unless we hear straight from the horse's mouth, someone has a report that says Bill Belichick pissed off the Falcons brass and they do not want him. I still think he's the favorite. Now, is there is there more of an opening than there was at the beginning? I, that I don't know. I really don't know because the truth is nothing has really come out since that second interview. We don't know how it went. We don't know if it went well. We don't know what was discussed. Uh, I imagine it had a lot to do with Rich McKay and the power. Uh, dynamic in that thing. But uh, until something comes out on that end, uh, I'm sticking to my guns here and still saying Bill Belichick is a favorite. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and, and, you know, to, to, to your point, Rich McKay, uh, or against your point, Rich McKay is a very experienced guy in the NFL. He's been in the NFL for like three decades, uh, multiple roles, GM, CEO. He's the chair on the competition committee. Uh, he he knows a lot. He's got a lot of strings in the league that he can pull. Like, you know, uh, Jeff Schultz uh, tweeted out the other day, he helped Arthur Blank get that new stadium. But you know who's got more cachet in this league than just about anybody in maybe the league's history is Bill Belichick. Many consider him the GOAT, and Arthur Blank is infatuated with the Patriot way. I mean, it's the greatest sports dynasty in, in, in sports. Uh, and Arthur Blank is still, you know, begging for just one ring. I think that if there is one guy that he would, you know, put personal feelings aside for his good buddy, Rich McKay, it would be for Bill Belichick. And I think that, you know, 
you can have two things at once. You can have your cake and eat it as well. And Rich McKay can stay on as a CEO and operate the business side of things, uh, as well as all the other A and B uh, uh, entities and everything like that. And Blank and him can still have that cozy relationship. And Belichick can come in and you know take control over football hops and work uh, hand in hand with Terry Fontenot without that structure that everybody apparently hates, according to Schultz, of reporting to C a CEO and Rich McKay. The fact of the matter is, is that I am not going to be swayed by, you know, Atlanta beat writers or Schefter's feelings that just because Belichick hasn't been hired, that he still isn't the front runner. I still believe that. I think that blank uh, thinks so highly of McKay that he is basically not doing him a favor, but, you know, going through the entire search thoroughly, thoroughly, uh, within the back of his mind, he's like, unless somebody blows with me, I'm going with Belichick as I've wanted this whole process. The only reason I fired Arthur Smith is because I thought I could get Bill Belichick. That's what I think. Yeah. I mean, we'll know a lot after today. Bobby slow. It comes in for his second interview. He's a guy that's supposedly really impressed, but all these guys that are getting second interviews supposedly really impressed the Atlanta Falcons. As I said, uh, it's not like anyone's, you know, right on Bill Belichick's heels and, and whether that's because of Belichick and nobody wanting him, or because Belichick is like, in his mind, it's Falcons or busts. Like, I don't want to go be the Panthers head coach. I don't want to be something like that. Um, well, that remains to be seen. So we'll know a lot after today with the whole Bobby Slowick thing, but I'm right there with you. You know, I, I just, I'm not going to be swayed by the feelings. I'm not going to be swayed by the optics until something comes out that that's, uh, you know, tangible and, and tells me that Bill Belichick is not the guy. I'm still going to believe he's right in the middle of the running. So we're going to have to find out. Sticking on the topic of Bill Belichick coming up after the break, Rob Gronkowski has some interesting words about the potential fit.